All right. So this is Jesus Christ. And this is what they did to him. This is from the Shroud of Turin. I think they counted like 600 wounds, including the stab wound in the side from the Roman soldier who finished him off. Is this fucking disgusting or what? This is what they did to our Lord. And this is Jesus Christ. It's from the Shroud of Turin. This is real. The blood on the shroud is real. The nail marks are not through the hands, they're through the wrist, which, you know, that wasn't proven until the late 19th, early 20th century, I believe, that uh, they used cadavers and nails through the, the palms wouldn't hold the body, it would just fall off. So how could this possibly be a, for, a fraud uh, back then where the image on the shroud is not paint. They can't figure out what it was. They think it was a burst of radiation, you know, where he resurrected. But the nail marks are through the wrists. So all these people with stigmata, that's, you know, their hands are bleeding. It's all a bunch of bullshit. But this is Jesus Christ from the Shroud of Turin. And this guy Ray Dowling figured out that it's a 3D image is why it always looked weird on the shroud the image but this is unbelievably heartbreaking uh, they believe he was around 5 foot 11 where the normal Middle Eastern man was around 5 5 um, just take a look at this this is incredible this is a full size model of Jesus Christ, including his face, what he looked like. I'm sorry it's in another language, but this is the best video I could find on this. So, um, you know, just take a look, because they're going to show unbelievable footage of what they did to our Lord. And this is from the Shroud of Turin. Just take a look at the people's faces. Again, I apologize. It's in another language, but it invokes such sadness. But, um, you know, there you have it. Jesus Christ, this is what he looked like. This is what they did to him. Look at the mocks. I think they counted like 600 wounds, including the spear mark in the side, which is there. Like I said, the blood on the, on the shroud is real blood. And the nail marks are through the wrists, where there's no way back then they could have possibly known that. Like I said, every statue and crucifix in the Catholic Church is through the palms of the hands. I mean, isn't that incredible? That's what Jesus looked like. I mean, it was incredible that they realized that the image on the shroud was a negative. And according to Ray Dowling, look at that. That's Jesus Christ. That is our Lord and Savior. That's Him. And the unbelievable beating that He took. Look at the nail marks. The holes are through the wrists. Okay? It's incredible. In the 70s, they tried to figure out what caused the imprint. It wasn't pain. They could never figure out what it was. So they decided to carbon date it. And they took a piece that was a patch. It wasn't even of the original cloth. 
and it dated back to the 1300s or something like that. It was all over the media. It's a fraud. It's a fraud. And boy, the people that don't believe in Jesus had a field day. They were rejoicing in the streets. But, uh, you know, it didn't even come from the, the, the cloth itself. It was a replacement. So everything else about this screams that this was the burial cloth. I mean, this is the front and back image. Every wound is there. Look at this. This is, incre this is incredible. I believe that's the wound in the side where he got stabbed by the Roman centurion. Again, I apologize. This is in a different language. I don't know what fucking language it is, but uh, nonetheless, not only was the face of Jesus created using 3D imaging, but his body and all the wounds of course they painted the you know the wounds red like they would have been at the time you know i mean for a fact because obviously there would be blood there from all these wounds so and you know of course they gave him black hair because you know most images of christ is like european looking he would look more like well, he looked exactly like this. <laughs> the people that come to visit the Shroud is, is incredible. It's behind bulletproof glass. And, um, wow, that's all I can say. I, that's all I can say. The Passion of the Christ, I wouldn't go see that movie with a gun to my head. I could care fucking less. Well, I shouldn't say I could care less. But, you know, like the Catholics, they believe in the pain and suffering of Christ. You know, and uh, I believe in the resurrection, you know, the empty cross. I won't allow a crucifix in my house. So, it's just amazing. Just totally amazing. Well, anyways, this is Rick from Webster Talk Radio, signing off.